It is great to see so many people here, and I want to thank everyone for coming out and joining us as we launch a new uh, mayoral uh, initiative that will expand opportunities for city residents in communities across Baltimore to access the resources and the tools um, to help them become job ready for the 21st century workplace. Um, I want to thank so many partners in the room who've helped to make the Community Job Hubs concept a reality. And I particularly want to thank the members of the Baltimore Workforce Investment Board, and I know we have many of them here today, um, for helping us in so many ways and defining working with employers and educators and other employment and training vendors what employers are saying they need to see in job candidates in order to hire them. And so what you see here um, are the 21st century job readiness standards. And the WIB is working very hard to also develop an enhanced curriculum, some assessment tools, and a whole package of services that we know will help put Baltimore citizens to work. And that's going to be a very important part of the Community Job Hubs concept. So without further ado, it is my pleasure and a privilege for me to introduce our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, who will give you more details um, about community job hubs and um, with whose leadership and support we've been able to actually realize this project. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Karen, thank you for the, the kind introduction and for all of your uh, hard work and the work the Office of Employment Development is doing, branching out and bringing your resources directly into our communities, into our neighborhoods with the community job hubs. I want to thank Mr. Barnwell for hosting us here at Academy of Success. I don't know who did the decor, but it's beautiful and inviting. <laughs> I, you know, the, it, you get a feel and a sense of uh, what will happen here when you walk in and you see this space. It is alive, it's vibrant, and I'm excited about um, being here. This is the, a very special day. We'll be officially open our first community job hubs located, in, uh, located throughout the city. These hubs illustrate how local government is working with community leaders to identify new ways to provide Baltimore residents with opportunities to improve their skills and uh, to make sure that they're able to get uh, good jobs and to get better jobs to be able to provide for themselves and their families. Uh, they're strategically located within trusted community centers and neighborhoods throughout the city. Our goal of growing Baltimore by 10,000 families can only be achieved when we have opportunities and services like this one, the Community Job Hub, uh, providing better access to employment connections and improving resources in the community. So in, in order for us to grow, you know, I talk about how it, it's, so, it's so vital if, the, if Baltimore's best days are ahead of it, uh, that we have vital communities throughout our city. It doesn't matter what zip code, you know, every community should be growing and thriving. And it, each community needs something different. And when you have a community that needs these resources, um, you know, the, the old way of thinking was to try to get the people out of the community to where the resources are instead of looking at different ways to use the assets we have uh, in communities so we can strengthen uh, right here, right here in the community. Karen mentioned it's essential that we do everything that we can to make sure that our residents are uh, job ready and meet the criteria identified uh, by our 21st century job readiness standards. And even though we've all, we already operate three one-stop career centers in Baltimore, uh, that provide career development resources, customized job research assistance, workforce development workshops, and career counseling. Again, we recognize that many residents need to have access right where they live. You know, that is how we will make sure uh, that, that fewer people slip through the cracks when we, when we uh, do this type of investment and outreach. So despite a significant budget shortfall, we're funding um, the establishment of these community uh, job hubs in order to provide unemployment, the unemployed and underemployed city residents with direct asset, access to employment readiness tools, computer skills training, and information about current job 
uh, opportunities right in their own neighborhoods. Residents will be able to attend classes taught by professional technology trainers to prepare them for 21st century jobs. And this is important because we know that employers today are looking to hire people that have specific knowledge and have the ability and often accreditation in order for them to be successful at a job and to move up the career ladder. I mean, this is not just about getting someone into a job. This is making sure that they have the resources they, they need to take that job to the next level, to take that opportunity and to grow from it, not just to get that first, that, that first, um, you know, that first opportunity, because all we're doing is setting ourselves up and them up, you know, in, in a year or two years to be right back where we started. And this is about, you know, really changing the trajectory of someone's life. So with guidance, residents will have their current skills assessed. They'll receive training and support so they can continue the, to progress at their own pace using software that includes online, online job search tools through the expansive Maryland Workforce Exchange. Information about occupational skills training, job fairs, and employee recruitment is available at the hubs, and residents are able to zero in on their individual career path and identify the best ways to develop their skills as well as to develop their chances for success. Virtually all jobs now require computer literacy, and hub users can learn computer fundamentals and hone their skills in Microsoft Office software, including Word Excel, which I should probably um, <laughs> sign up for, as well as PowerPoint. And, and the best part of this is it's all at uh, no cost. Community-based workforce development services are the wave of the future, and it's my intention to support that growth. As we identify more funding and more partners, uh, we hope to establish uh, more of these job hubs in additional neighborhoods. And presently, in addition to this Academy of Success location, we are opening at the Govins Ecumenical Development Corporation on York Road, my brother's keeper on Frederick Road, and Southern Community Action Center in Cherry Hill. At all of the job hubs, Baltimore citizens are gaining access to the tools required to compete in today's fast-paced environment. And to tell you a little bit more about uh, the Community Job Hub here at Academy for Success is the President and CEO, Benjamin Barnwell. Thank you, Madam Mayor, and uh, to all of our guests, um, uh, Karen, uh, great to have you with us today. And for everybody, when it comes down to workforce, uh, development when it comes down to job creation we know that it takes a collaborative effort um, and we were extremely excited uh, about being selected as one of the sites for the community jobs hub it makes uh, sense to put these kinds of resources right in the community where residents can get to it easy um, we know that families are challenged with everything from transportation to child care. Um, so when resources like this is, uh, are located in the uh, community, it's accessible. It will be highly utilized. Um, folks uh, will continue to tell other people about it. And we will see that uh, we, it will become a way to transform um, spaces like these uh, and to usable spaces in the community that empowers the community for long term. Um, we are excited because as we look at the families we've been serving now for uh, the last 12 years in this community, uh, as we get feedback from the families, everybody continues to talk about the need for job skill development. Even the employed need new skill development, additional skill development. So this is a right direction. Uh, I applaud the uh, mayor's leadership on this. Um, and all of those of you out there in the audience who have helped to make this happen, um, no city can uh, be lifted up just by any one entity. But when we come together and work like this and target resources and services to the needs of the residents, 
that's when we begin to really make a difference. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, the Academy is excited. Um, it becomes, this component becomes a great addition to the system of services that we provide because uh, along with uh, youth services and other health and human resources that we're providing, this becomes another key element for empowering children, youth, and families. So we're excited about it. Um, we're excited to have so many of you come and join us. Um, but instead of me talking for another 20 minutes, because uh, I could do that for two hours if you wanted me to, I'm going to actually bring one of the customers forward, uh, Wanda Brookings. Uh, is one of the uh, individuals who's benefiting from this facility along with many others and uh, she can share in her own way uh, as to what kind of benefit uh, this facility has been for her. Wanda? My name is Wanda Brookins and could you please bear with me, I'm very nervous. <laughs> Um, since they've opened up the facility, um, I've studied here and got certified in a PRA position. Um, and since they've opened up the computer lab, uh, I was already a client of the uh, MWE. Um, but since it, I fell off, but since I've been here, um, right now I'm unemployed, but I've been going on the sites and putting in applications, actually sending out resumes. Um, I've, since going into the computer lab, I've learned a lot more about the computer. I have a PC myself, but um, some of the things I didn't know how to operate on the computer. Being as though that, thanks to the mayor, by her putting it in place, I'm actually learning more. I've even taken the uh, computer literacy class which is amazing. It truly is very amazing. Um, Ms. Arnold is helping me uh, figure out some stuff that I'm a little <laughs> short coming in. Um, I also attend not only this facility's uh, lab, I also attend my brother's keeper's lab, which I also, by me getting assistance, I'm helping others as well. Um, go on the site, get registered, and actually look for jobs. So again, I appreciate everything that you're doing for us within the community, and I'm also telling people about it so they can come and get some of what I'm getting. Thank you. Thank you. Before we move into the um, other room for the ribbon cutting, I do want to acknowledge that we have representation from the other three um, community job hubs that are opening. And so um, if those folks, I know Olivia, you're here. And, and um, so if, if you guys could just stand up so I can just say thank you to our Brothers Keeper, Cherry Hill, and I don't know if anyone from Get... No. no, okay. So thank you guys all for being here. We really look forward to it. 